New at 7 as we gear up for the solar eclipse next month. It's really important to keep eye safety top of mind. Listen, we all know looking at the sun is dangerous, but it can harm your eyes within seconds. I think most people will remember burning leaves with a magnifying glass when they were a kid. That the magnifying glass concentrates the sun rays into one little spot where it starts to get hot. The same thing happens in the eye. The lens of the eye acts as a, a magnifying glass. So if you look at the sun, the sun's energy is concentrated by the lens of the eye onto the back of your eye, your retina. Great analogy. We all remember burning those leaves as a kid. Dr. Matt Blondin has a practice in Torrington. He's also an adjunct professor at the University of New Haven. He says when looking at the sun, the light shines in the center of your eye, which is called the macula. It's the most important part of the retina. And it doesn't take long before it starts to heat up and you can burn the tissue in the back of your eye and you won't feel it because there's no sensory nerves there. Uh, it's called eclipse blindness, also known technically as solar retinitis. And it's it's permanent. This is, you know, this is a serious thing. Dr. Blondin says a study back in 1999 in the United Kingdom researched eye damage following an eclipse. It found 70 people lost their sight because of it. Dr. Blondin says those people looked at the sun for less than a minute. Symptoms from that kind of damage come about fairly quickly. Within a day or two, you might notice trouble seeing in that eye. Again, it affects only your central vision, not your peripheral vision. Again, the part of your retina that gets burned is right in the middle. Well, listen, that's why we're here. That's why we're talking about this. That is why eclipse glasses are a must-have when you're viewing this phenomenon. If you're in the path of totality, which Connecticut is not, and only when the sun is completely blocked out by the moon can you take the glasses off. That only lasts for a few minutes. If you're shopping for eclipse glasses, be mindful of counterfeit ones. The American National Standards Institute set a standard for the density of the, of the, the tint of the lens. And it is, uh, the, the actual standard is called ISO 12312-2. And that should be labeled on the, on the eclipse glasses. For anybody who you know is interested in doing that, if they want to make sure they get something good, I would go to the American Astronomical Society's website. And they have a whole thing on eclipses that talks about what brands of eclipse glasses are, have been tested properly and what brands have not. Dr. Blondin is a wealth of knowledge there. You know, you can also make your own eclipse projector using a cardboard box, a sheet of white paper, and aluminum foil. You remember doing that as a kid? Storm Tracker meteorologist Anthony Carpino recently made one. It's part of our special coverage on the eclipse. You can find that on our website right now, NBCConnecticut.com.